What's up, it's your boy Eldre back with another video and today we got our hands on the brand new base model Mac Mini. It's cute, it's tiny, it's powerful, it's portable, and it's affordable. 10 core CPU, 10 core GPU, 16 gigabytes of unified memory with a measly 256 gigs of storage, but you know, that's what you guys got these for, you know what I'm saying? But for all that, it's only $5.99. And pro tip, it could be $4.99 if you have an education email or something like that. So I mean, come on, that sounds like a steal. But the real question is, can this model, this exact model right here, that's only $600, be used for music production. And that's what I'm trying to find out in this video. In my previous video, I compared the M4 Max versus my M1 Max. My M1 Max trusted, loved it, would been using it for years, didn't think I'd ever need an upgrade until the M4 Max came out. I got it, I did the test, it blew me away. Now the M1 Max is still great for music production, but the M4 Max is just better. Almost twice as good in everything I tried it, whether it's like video editing, beat making, whatever. Today we're gonna do a similar test. Since the storage is so tiny on this, I wasn't able to clone everything from my MacBook over because my both my MacBooks have like four terabytes of storage pretty much fully used. But I got Ableton and I got a couple plugins. So let's cook up a beat and try to push it to its limit. All right, we got these chords going already. This is one instance of analog right now. Um, hold on, let me check our buffer. All right, should we do 32? I don't even know if we should do 32, but in the last video, we did all of that on just 32 samples. But let's try it. Let's add some drums for the vibes. By the way, this video is sponsored by the one and only Eldre. Get your drum kits at ldrdrumkit.com. And I just restocked my Lo-Fi Christmas vinyl, Snow-Fi Volumes 1 and 2, along with a nice little Christmas hoodie. Check it out, the link will be in the description. This is Elder Jump Kid Volume 6 in action, by the way. Let's start, let's duplicate these chords, bring in another instrument. bring some kind of arp in. All right, let's master it. Let's use, I believe I got Ozone on here. Let me double check. If we put the master on and it's still doing good, then we're Gucci, bro. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five instances of analog lab. I know that's not much, but it's gonna start sounding like buns if I keep adding more. But we also have ozone going, which is usually delays a lot. Let's see. Having ozone on, I'm not even delayed. It's not even any latency when I play, which is kind of huge. Um, so let's just start duplicating stuff, bro. Right now we're at, we're at 26 CPU usage. We just duplicated everything. Let's hear it. All right, so now we got 10 instances of Arteria with a bunch of effects and we're at 45%, 32 on the buffer. We're looking pretty good right now. Let's duplicate all of that. Let's see. Okay, we're starting to crop out at 20 plugins running, but again, we're at 32 buffer. This is actually kind of impressing me right now. Let's go to 64. Still, nobody's, go nobody's running 64. Okay, that can't really handle it, that's fine. Go to 128, see what happens. It's 
not sounding good, but it's working. For quick comparison's sake, we got the M1 Max fully specced out. And again, this has 64 gigs of RAM, 14 core CPU, well, a lot. A lot. 20 instances of Analog Lab, Onisphere, all these other plugins. Running smooth. It's barely hidden. Oh. It's a little crackly, but that's all at 32, and this is where the Mac Mini crapped out. But that's kind of as expected. This is still a $6,000 MacBook. Apple actually quoted me like $1,300 for the trade-in on this. So even their super, super, super low ball trade-in doesn't even hold a candle to the price of this little Mac Mini. So that should be enough said. The case is closed. That was a little corny. I gotta be honest with you guys. This is doing a lot better than I thought. I actually kind of was feeling bad going into this as like, ah oh man, I don't want to just destroy this beautiful, affordable Mac mini for all the, the world to see. Now I'm kind of scratching my head. I'm like, I definitely didn't need this M4 Max, bro. Like it took 20 tracks for it to crap out and we didn't even max out the buffer size or anything like that. Where are we at right now? 128 samples and it's still going hard with like uh, 25 different VSTs, not even to mention Ozone and all the different effects plugins I have on all these. Uh, I mean, it's safe to say that this thing is pretty capable if you're on a budget. I mean, not even if you're on the budget. I mean, obviously, personally, I would definitely upgrade the RAM. I don't, how many, let's see how much storage I have left. So I've already used 108 gigabytes and all I did was install Ableton, install a couple Arturia plugins and like maybe one or two other plugins that aren't as big, but this isn't even a tiny fraction of the plugins and samples and all this stuff that I have on my main machine. And me personally, I like to have all my storage on there. But anyway, for an extra 200, you can upgrade to 24 gigs of RAM, but maybe you don't need to. Them upgrading the base model of the Mac mini to 16 gigs of RAM really made it like the bargain of the year. Um, storage, 512, I mean, that's an extra 200. If you wanna do a terabyte, which is what I would personally recommend is at least a terabyte, you're looking at a thousand dollars for the Mac mini. You know, this is a four terabyte SSD by SanDisk. It's super fast, super reliable for me. And I think the four terabyte is like 300. I don't know, I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I think you can get four terabytes for like 300 on a really fast SSD, or you can spend 400 and get one terabyte built in. You know what I'm saying? That's up to you. Honestly though, the truth of the matter is the main reason why I'm doing this video is because my M4 and M1 Max videos were the highest of highest tiers as well as the price. I'm talking this M4 fully specced out, probably like 6K. I think I paid 6K for my M1 Max as well, around there. And that's just not obtainable for most people that are making beats, bro. Especially if you're just making beats. Now, I will say if you're also doing content and you still want the Mac mini, you know, just get some more RAM, get some more storage, you know, spend the extra couple hundred bucks. But if you're just making beat and you're on a budget and you're on like an archaic computer, you're on like a 2015 MacBook with the Intel chips and you can barely run any. I saw some people in the comments saying they can't even run a few plugins at 1000 samples on the buffer. So if you're in that camp, and somehow, some way, you can scrummage together $600. It's a bargain, bro. It'll get the job done. It'll get the job done compared to what you're coming from. That's the main thing I would suggest. Make the decision based on what you have. If what you have right now is super slow, don't compare this to the $6,000 M4 Max that you probably can't afford, compare what you have now to this base model. And that's where you'll find the gold at the end of the rainbow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna use this a little more for some other videos. I saw some people using the Apple Vision Pro with the Mac mini as like some futuristic portable computing setup, which I think is fire. And I barely use my Apple Vision Pro, but I might do that for my new YouTube channel that is just gonna be tech stuff. Maybe, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if you think I can keep doing stuff like this, like tech related stuff on here, that's not so much focus on music production. Um, I could make the video about the Mac mini and the Apple Vision Pro and that's the whole thing. But if I make a beat in that video, maybe it could sit on this channel. So I don't know, please, you guys help me out. I really don't know if I should have a separate channel for tech stuff and uh, keep the music over here. Please let me know in the comments, please, I'm begging you. I'm so serious. I've been thinking about this for months, bro. So if you guys can enlighten me in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.